This was supposed to be Vino's year. The people's favorite, the bookies' favorite, the national hero of Kazakhstan riding in his national colors. It was all set up for him to write his name in tour history. That was the theory. The reality, though, will tell how he was smuggled away from his team hotel, leaving in his wake a ripple effect of recrimination and investigation. His career now fatally flawed. And yet cycling will remember one of the most thrilling riders of the new millennium, even if history will beg to differ. In 99, he won the Dauphiné Libéré and announced his presence on the world stage. That year, he finished 35th in his first Tour de France. In 2000 and 2001, he finished in the top 20, but it was in 2003 that his promise reached its fulfillment. It was the year in which Armstrong drew level with the other four five-time winners, the centenary edition of the Tour, in which the Kazakh played a brilliant cameo. Oh, and Belocki's near, Belocki's gone down, Armstrong's off the road as well. On that epic descent into Gap, on which Belocki crashed out and Armstrong went off piste, Vinokurov was away, hurtling towards the finish line after a solo attack. Now the Tour knew what he was capable of, his first stage win. In Paris, he stood on the podium alongside Armstrong. He peaked, a third place finish. But there was always a feeling with Vino that no one knew what to expect, least of all himself. A loose cannon within the magenta regimentation of T-Mobile, or Team Ulrich as it was in 2005. Having missed the tour the previous year, he pulled out two stage wins. Crossing the summit of the Galibier on his own, he held off the challenge of Santiago Botero to win in Briançon. And then, out of sheer flamboyance, stole the sprinter's thunder on the Champs-Élysées by taking the final stage. Alexander Vinokurov, on many occasions, the man of the Tour de France, is getting his second stage victory. That is an incredible, incredible win for Alexander Vinokurov. Yet, those wins only partially tell the tale. For all his aggression, there were days when he just disappeared. One day on, one day off, was a pattern emerging. One tour on, one tour off. Last year, he missed out after Operation Puerto blew away his new team, Liberty Seguros. There was a feeling that his absence diminished the race. And as if to prove a point, that year he went on to win the Vuelta. So his reappearance this year in the light blue of Astana promised great things. And if nothing else, it has delivered drama. From his crash on stage five, to the medical soap opera of his rehabilitation, through his sign language capitulation, to astonishing recovery, dropped and dominance in equal measure. Would the real Vinokurov please stand up? Perhaps, though, we've seen the real Vino all along. One leap of faith, too far. <laughs>